So today we're going to take an in-depth look into the 2.3 color tools. The first thing we want to do is open our color picker uh, and take a look at the tools that are in here. You'll notice that the default layout when you open the color picker tab is going to give you the CIE color space and it's also going to give you your gel picker. But this tab is now highly configurable and there are a couple of different tool sets that you can open. Uh, keep in mind that you can open multiple color picker tabs and have different configurations for each of them. So if you have certain tool sets that you want exposed together regularly, just open more than one color picker tab. In the upper left hand corner is the gear icon and that's our display configuration tool. So if we open that guy up, you'll notice there are a bunch of different tools that we can look at. I'm going to go ahead and hide my gel picker and open up our abstract color spaces. So there are six color spaces that are available for you to work in. Uh, this isn't a way that you would work with all six of them open generally, but it allows you to pick which color space you're most comfortable working and thinking in. From upper left across, the spaces are CIE XY, also known as CIE 1931. The next space is Hue Saturation Wheel. Your next space over is Hue Saturation and Brightness, or HSB. On the lower left-hand side, that is your RGB color space. And then next to that is CMY. And then your final space is CIE 1976, which is also known as CIE UV space. In the new color space, all of these spaces are connected, so the console understands the relationship between these spaces. So regardless of what color space you choose to work in, these are just abstract values that are applied to the native parameters of the fixture you're controlling. So let's look at some of these controllers in detail. My favorite space is CIUV. I'm going to go ahead and drop down there. You'll notice your crosshair shows where your fixture is currently located. The conical shape space that's represented here is showing us what is uh, the visible spectrum. So all of the color that's within that space uh, is what humans are able to perceive. So the CIE spaces are nice because they have a biological component to them. The triangular space that's over top of that indicates some plaza color standards that have recently been released. And this is a red point, a green point, and a blue point representing a three color mixing system. So this shows all the various possibilities of a true RGB color mixing system. All of these spaces represent colors in two dimension on a monitor, but color is a three dimensional tool. And so we give you a third axis on the side of each color space. In this particular space, this allows us to deal with the brightness of the space. And if you're unsure what is on each axis, if you hit the question mark in any of the color spaces, it will show you not only the names of each axis uh, on all three of them, but also at the very top it shows you the name of the color space that you're in. And then finally, in certain color spaces, you can change what is on the three axes. So I'm going to go ahead really quickly and look at my RGB. Currently, my red is on the third axis, and my green and my blue are along the X and the Y. So by touching the head of each of those labels, I can change which one of these parameters is on the third axis. So I have a little bit more control over how I work with these fixtures.